This is my cola. Asamene gong. Jetia. This is my cola. Asamene gong. Yo lisa tarik. You laugh and laugh. Asamene gong. The plaintiff Rusty Pupu is suing the defendant, Mr. Archie Smith, a bank manager, for wife neglect and loneliness. He avers that the defendant would rather spend his spare time on his work and friends than his young, beautiful wife. He is praying the court for ownership of Mr. Smith's wife and money damages right. to the tune of 70,000 cities for their upkeep. The, the court it. is in session. A beautiful day. What do you have for me? Your Honor, I have something for you. Your Honor, this one is a case I know I win. Even before you say something, I know I win. My clients here have blamed the case before you. The case, this one is a case of could this be love? Could this be love? <laughs> and be love. Your Honor, even somebody take to sing their song. Good. Your Honor, my clients here, and this man stay in the same destiny. But this man. Which thing? The same house? No. The same. Everybody sits in their house, but the same. Neighborhood. Place. Yeah. Neighborhood man. <laughs> so, my kind do the neighborhood watch. He watch all the neighbor. Like a. Uh... Um, what, what do you call it? Like the volunteers? No, this one, he don't have a job, so he don't have a choice. <laughs> he have to watch. Watch people, bad, bad. At night? Any day, any time. <laughs> so, Your Honor, as he's watch, he sees something about this man. He said, ah, this man, every day, the man run away from the house. He don't stay in the man house. Ah. So, the man too have a wife. And the man wife, every day, the man go, only the wife stay. Your Honor, let me call somebody. Somebody, everybody know him. Eliane Damala Badara Tiam. Who, who is that? Your Honor, I know you call him Akon. That's his real name? Yeah. Wow. He's my friend. Me and him come from Selena. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Your Honor, he said something. He said that, lonely, I am so lonely. I have nobody to call my own. Oh. <laughs> that time, I can't sing the song for this my wife. Charge this man with this thing. He neglects the wife. Charge him with wife, wife abandonment. Wife he abandon abandonment. Yeah, he abandoned the wife. So please, charge the man and take the man wife for my client. Because this man can't husband the wife where. My client wants to husband the wife and husband him where. He show him how to husband wife. One president. Nana Kufado became the president of Ghana. He said something that all of the Ghana people don't be this thing, but be a <laughs> citizen. My kind don't want to be. Don't be spectators. Yeah. You don't say it. Nana Kufado said it. <laughs> don't be spectator. Be citizen, my kind. It's a mind. I know Gufford was talking about. But as I tell you already, my client, you don't have a work. So how can somebody husband somebody and not have a money? I should charge him so with that. So charge him and take money from my client. Money again? Oh, yeah. How can my client husband the wife? The new wife, my client, come to uh, uh, husband. How can he husband? He need money because the man have the money. So he lays the, the wife this thing to upper. My client to is the lower guy. You don't have the money. So please bring my client to upper. So that the marriage my my client marriage the, the wife become 
upper Mali. So charge the mine and give 70,000. Oh, it's too small. <laughs> so how much do you want? Yeah, give my client 190,000. Ghana City. 190,000. Yeah, my lord. So that my client use some to marry the new wife and Good. use some to pay me because I will charge him more. Got this case, I know I win. God bless you. Um, God bless you too. Yeah, amen. Ever since you were introduced in this courtroom, all the cases you bring are absurd. Are you aware? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I don't like small, small this thing. I like big, so that I win big. So this is a big case for you? All the cases I bring is a big. <laughs> How do you find your cases? Your Honor, you have asked a question. I go around the town. When I see somebody, I look at the person, even this guy, I see that he has a case. <laughs> He's not happy, man. The way he writes, look at the way he writes. You have a case. I go and talk to him. Then he said that, oh yeah, somebody will me. I said that, hmm. Then the court is your friend. He said that, wow. Take me. But even I don't charge them. If I win, then you pay something. But you've never won a case. No. no. <laughs> so how are you paid? Your Honor, I'm in Kwanini. <laughs> Even I take loan to buy all my destiny. The person is chewing me, but still. So please, tamper justice with the mercy. And let me win this one. OK. OK? All right. All right. God bless you. Go, oh, Your Honor, I don't need God bless. I need money. <laughs> money bless you. Amen. Let's hear from the defense. <clears throat> Thank you very much, uh, Your Honor, for giving me the opportunity to defend uh, my clients. Your Honor, when you come to my hometown, there's a saying that they say. They say that uh, I fear they come from. It means that nowhere is cool. Your Honor, everything has a positive side and a negative side. All you need to do is make sure you balance it well so that there is correct balance. Your Honor, first and foremost, a wife is not a chattel. It's not a what? A chattel. What is that? What is? Your Honor, a wife is not a property that one can possess. So that the plaintiff here can come and sue for ownership of a lawfully wedded wife. That is our first defense. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, in the case of uh, Akoninga versus uh, Akwagri, 1987-1988, case number 2GL562, they made this clear uh, that you can't sue for ownership of a wife. And so the action that the plaintiff has taken here is misconceived and misappropriate. So it cannot hold in a court of law, especially this very honorable court of yours. All right. Your Honor number two, the plaintiff here has no local standing to bring this case to court. Because one, the only person that can come and sue about my client's marriage is him or his wife. They are the two in the marriage, and they are bounded by law. Objection, Your Honor, Your Honor. Then, why that when people are marry people, they invite people to come and do that? <laughs> why don't go and marry yourself? When the pastor threw us talk about it, and in the wedding, he said that, we are gathered here. Who is we? <laughs> all the people. So, all the people to our part. Because people were at, uh, at the wedding, were present at the wedding, they have the right to interfere or intervene if something is going wrong. Yeah, Your Honor, even the Ghana law tell you that if somebody do something you don't like, you can arrest the person. Where is that law written? Ghana law. Where? Ghana law paper. 
<laughs> and so, Your Honor, in conclusion, I just want to say that the plaintiff's action is frivolous, sir. The plaintiff's action is vexatious, it is flippant, it is glib, it is waggish, it is hard-hearted, it is flirtatious, it is facetious, it is senseless. It's okay, it's okay. Why? <laughs> huh? That small thing my kind do, you use big English to insult my kind. That's not an issue. I understand, but I understand. Okay. Your Honor, I have not insulted anybody at in your all. court. I can never do that in your court. He's describing the case. He said Pantitious. <laughs> that my client is mad, so he can go to Pantan. Okay. That's what you understand by yeah. what he said. Good. That's unfortunate that you heard that. Finish your Honor, <clears throat> I may want, I want to uh, cross-examine uh, the plaintiff who brought the case. And then I'll conclude and sit down, because I know this case, you are going to throw it out very simple. You may. Uh, please stand up. Yes, first and foremost, are you by any means or in any way related uh, to my client's wife? Uh? What I want you to understand, I did that. Are you related? Answer the question. Yeah, Anna, I'm a neighbor. I know that. Are you answer, related? Oh, uh, answer the question directly. No, no, no Your Honor, let the court uh, note that he's in no way related uh, to my client's wife. We have wife. audio recordings. We have. Yeah, Thank you very much, Your Honor. Typist. Um, at two. Were you part of the witnesses at their marriage ceremony? No, I wasn't. Okay. Your last question. What right do you have to bring this case to the very honorable court of our judge here? Your Honor, as a nurse door neighbor and as a Christian who biblically believes in loving the neighbors himself or herself, I drew the attention of Mr. Smith about the less attention he gives to his wife. But Mr. Smith here angrily told me to leave or say nothing about his marital affairs. Your Honor, the wife is very young, very beautiful, who deserves the best of marriage, attention, care, and love. Uh, objection, Your Honor, Your Honor. My client is talk too much. <laughs> this thing, this printed thing is talk. It's not to me about this thing. Please, have you finished your question? I have one last question to ask him. Um, has the wife ever, ever, come to complain to you about problems in her marriage? No, she hasn't. So, Your Honor, what is this gentleman doing here with this case? If the wife has not come to tell you there's anything wrong with uh, her marriage, why do you assume that there is something wrong with the marriage? Your Honor, my client don't assume. Let me take you to Spain. Spain law, Article 82, Session 1. You say that? The following. Hey. <laughs> the following. Yeah, that's what I said. The following are grounds for separation. Okay. When the the un, the unjustified the unjustified ab abandonment okay. of family home. Good. Your Honor, what the law say? Family home. If That's he abandoned the family? Every day the man go to work. But, him if you don't go to work. But why do you choose to use other laws rather than the laws of our country? Because, Your Honor, my school teach me all the law in the world. <laughs> so, when I get a case, I look at the case and I choose the law that defend the case where. So, you mean you will choose to use any law at all? Yeah. Any law. Yeah, even sometimes I create my own law. And you, ask, you expect me to condone that? That one. Me, I, I didn't say my thing. All right. So his point is, um, according to the law of Spain, Spain? Uh, yeah. abandonment, if somebody abandons his home, yes, his family, um, it's grounds for separation. separation but the yeah. point is, young man, the woman can ask for separation, but not a neighbor. Yes, Your Honor, and that's why the current people say that nobody drink the this thing, medicine for the sick wife. Yes, yeah. exactly. So he can't drink medicine for the sick lady, if that is, if she was indeed sick or suffering. Yeah, I saw that one, he can. Yes, so then, what, what, you don't have a case then? Wait, let me think about this thing. <laughs> 
Your Honor, then Adam and Eve. Why do you mention them? Your Honor, I want, yes. I want to confuse you. <laughs> so that by the time I come back, you forget all the things I say. So I say it different. Okay. So if you are confused, then let me go. I'm confused. Good. All the guy people say that if you sit in a thing and somebody children don't glow away, you beat them mm -mm. to show them how to no. glow away. Which Ghanaian people say that? You don't No. Nobody we... say that. No, no, nobody says that. <laughs> but my my this thing say it. Well who? My uncle said. So we keep the issues of you and your uncle out of my courtroom, all right? Sit down, sit, sit. No, not you, sit, stand. Have you been married before? No, Your Honor. Do you know no. how to take care of a woman? No, Your Honor. So what makes you assume that you can take care of his wife? Yeah, you should share the moon. <laughs> sit. Gentlemen, up. For how long have you been married to your wife? Five years now, Your Honor. Come again. <clears throat> Five years. For how long have you lived in the neighborhood? Four years, Your Honor. What does your wife do? Um, she's a housewife. And what do you do? I'm a bank manager. You see, as much as I despise what they are doing and bringing, dragging you to court, you should also know that you can't just marry somebody's daughter and keep her home without... Eh? <laughs> what do you like? Without taking... That's how you bring it. Young man, uh, how, how early do you leave home? Um, Your Honor, by 6 a.m., I'm off. How late do you come home? My work is such that... Um, how late do you come home? Question. You come to describe the work? <laughs> Your Honor, he's... Intimidating my client. He's not intimidating your client. Ask your client a simple question and I need a simple answer. Please sit. Your Honor, um, 11, let us by 11 p.m. I should be home. 11? Yes. And you're, you have a housewife? Yes, Your Honor. And you leave her there from the time you leave for work till you come back? Yeah, even if she died, I am not talking to you. <laughs> no, but what the man is serious. If the wife, if you leave, Sis, and the wife died nine, then all the, the destiny, the wife stayed there. And, and, and he has a point. Young yeah. man, sit down. You sit down. He has a point. If something, was hap if something happened to your wife, you wouldn't know. How do you know? <laughs> sit down. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Your Honor, you know, I've been married to my, like I said, I've been married to my wife for five years, and that is the life that I've lived all these years. Even before I got married to her, and she understands me perfectly. We've spoke, we spoke through this before we got married, and she's um, adapted, you know. I'm surprised. I don't, I, I don't really think my wife walked to the gentleman as he confessed to tell him that she's not a happy woman. She's very happy. I get her all the things that she needs. Uh, when I'm supposed to be in the house from 11 p.m. all the way to 5.30 when I wake up. I'm with her in the room. And we enjoy ourselves, you know. I give her all the care. Do you have a child with her? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, one child. Five years, only one child. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the four years that I've left, who can, who have to? Uh, speak, don't speak again. OK. <laughs> this is a useless case. By all standards. Thank you very much, Your Honor. But having said that, you know, women are such that some of the things you think they are, they are less important to them might be so important. Maybe she's not communicated or told you direct. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's not told you, but she could be disturbed. There's no way. A normal woman would agree that you stay out that late. There's no way. If, you see, why do we work? We work to feed our family. So we first have a family, we still have, we still have 
people will love. And that is why we go out there to feed, get money to come and feed them and take care. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> to come and take care of them. We must not let the work that we are doing to feed them destroy them. If you have to cut down on the work, some of the work, so you can have ample time to take care of them, you should. You should have a balanced life. God made us not as machines or as robots or as computers, which are made for one particular purpose. We must be versatile and we must be successful in all these areas. So don't want and desire and fight for extreme success in one area. You definitely kill the other parts of your life. Young man. <laughs> you hear me? Yes, Your Honor. This is how we must build our society as Ghanaians, as Africans. This is the way we can win against the war we have with the rest of the world. Build good homes and work hard as well. We can't concentrate on just one part of it. I'll be spying on you. Yes, I'll send my people to spy on you. Yes, <laughs> Keep a good home. You can do it. You can balance your life, all right? Yes, sir. Hey, you get up. Sit down. Look, a human being is not a property. So that you can go and say, um, will that person to me? You can demand that somebody's <laughs> wife be willed to you. If you want to do something good to Ghana, to Africa, to society, go and find a job to do. And stop spying on people. That is even criminal. Yes, no. your honor. How can you be spying on people mm -hmm. and their life and their home? <laughs> your honor, the reality is, I wasn't spying. Honestly, I'm an unemployed graduate for the past six years now. Good. So, your honor. You have too much time on your hands. I don't really have too much time. You but have... you need to understand that anything that goes on in society, I may see it, mm -hmm. as you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can talk now. <laughs> okay. Hey, stop. Stop what you are saying. He's spy. He tell me that. He, if he, he go and buy this thing, the, the, this thing they take to look. And he takes to look there, right? <laughs> Even sometimes when the wife go and buy, he want to look. Your Honor, I think we have to count us you for, for trespassing. Young man, yeah. listen to me. So. Go and find a good job to do. If you don't have, let me recommend a company. I recommend that you go and work for A4 Technologies. I'll talk to the CEO there. Your Honor, I guess their salary is up to 1000 <laughs> You see, these are the kind of things that test me to prove my worth. All right, so, um, Panisha, get up. Your Honor. Hey. Come, stand here. Go ahead, stand here. <laughs> All right, so let's get him something. Come, get something from him. If you dare open, really if, sorry, if, you dare open your, if you open your mouth. Ah. One, you can't go around spying on people. Yes, Your Honor. And you can't think of human beings as property. Exactly your point. Um, stretch your palm. What? Young man, Your Honor. give him five. This is one. Ah! Your Honor, I'm really sorry to never have me again. Ah! This is the last time I'm doing that, Your Honor. Again? Never will I stop. <laughs> Your Honor, today is Sunday. Ah! The last one. Ah, Your Honor. Now go back to your seat. Thank you. Where were you when your I Honor. Honor. Thank you for disciplining my friend. <laughs> I think that this thing teach my, my, my clients well. Now, I, I, need, I need to say something to you. Come here. Is it? I need to say something to you. Come okay. here. Please. Come. <laughs> Stay here. Sit down. And if you open your mouth, you see what will happen to you. Stand there. So, Face this direction. Now, you, move and stay here. You're here? Yes. Yeah. Now, look him in the eyes. The next time you bring a useless case, it won't be your client. It will be you. All right? OK, Your Honor. What do you have to say to him? You are mature. 
Good. You can go back to your seat now. Maybe in that time, then my destiny is shaking. That's it. I'm okay. Order. Order. All right, so, young man, I'm serious about this. Take good care of your family, all right? Okay. All right, so this case is dismissed. This court is adjourned. All right. There's lunch Judge Louise Lamy. This is my cola. Asamenegong. Gejetia. This is my cola. Asamenegong. Yoli satarik. You laugh and laugh. Asamenegong. Gejetia. This is my cola. Asamenegong. You kind of cult where everything goes. A kind of cult where everything goes. Oh, yes.